It's that time of year once again where a jovial atmosphere grips nations across the world. However, in amongst the presents, the lights, the decorations and the food, we shouldn't lose sight of what makes Christmas a rather special time of year. Let me preface this video by acknowledging the fact that I'm not actually Christian myself, but have spent time understanding the importance and value of the holiday season, and in a time where it's adopted across the world, even in places where Christmas wasn't traditionally celebrated, I think there's a universal significance to this time of year. In this video, I want to delve a little into life lessons we can and should take away from Christmas, not least in the behaviour of people, and try to apply them throughout the year as they can dramatically improve the quality of your life. So let's break down the elements that we consider special during Christmas, but can help us live more fulfilled and happier lives. Presence Let's not beat around the bush. Christmas today is often most associated with presents and gifts, with one of the most prominent images being of Santa bringing toys to kids who wake up on Christmas morning in excitement of seeing what surprises await them under the tree. It's an iconic image, as is the general idea of giving gifts in this time of year. Here's the thing though, whereas we're readily prepared to give to others during this time, the rest of the year is quite a different story for the majority of us. And there's a pertinent lesson to be gained here. That just as we're giving during Christmas, it's an admirable quality when you see someone who can maintain that attitude throughout the year. It doesn't have to be gifts, in fact, that's a fairly trivial aspect of giving, it's the gesture and love shown during the act of giving that's of greater importance. Say you maintain that outlook in other aspects of life, well, you'll be surprised in what you get in return. Let's put it another way in the form of an everyday example. When you work on something for someone, you usually make a commitment to them, perhaps to complete a task or write a report. For most of us, we'll do what's expected of us and for many, they don't even do that. However, let's say that rather than doing just what's expected, you deliver that a little extra, the gift on top so to speak. Well, this attitude means that you're going to be giving people more than they expect. And in the workplace, such an attitude will almost certainly be recognised by those in charge, who will appreciate the extra effort you put in. If you have customers, they'll appreciate the extra value they get for their money. And here's the kicker, what you put out there will return to you. If you put in the extra work that's recognised by your boss, you're more likely to get rewarded with a pay rise or a promotion. If you deliver extra value to customers, they'll not only be more likely to return for your services, but they'll be more likely to recommend you to others. Simply put, giving gifts and the gesture behind it isn't limited to just Christmas, but rather applying it in other aspects of life will see you give more and thus, put yourself in a position to see greater returns. However, I'm acutely aware that I've applied this to just a work example, and don't want to underestimate the importance of life's pleasures. Christmas is special because it combines various little things that culminate to one great experience during this time of year. We have lights, music, food and drink and movies, and we get to share those experiences with those we love. The thing is, the various elements that make Christmas feel unique are actually quite normal and even mundane. Most of us have the opportunity to eat great food at any time we want. Christmas music and movies, or just music and movies in general, can be enjoyed at any time and decorations, lights and our loved ones are often things or people we sometimes take for granted throughout the year. It's not that I'm saying that you should do what you do at Christmas all year round, but it goes deeper, as Christmas gives us a purpose and reason to focus in on those positive things and appreciate what life has to offer. So the lesson here is to take a moment every day to just feel grateful for what you have and just take in and really enjoy life's little pleasures. It's easy to overlook this, but doing so means you ignore the very things that you actively feel grateful for during the holiday season. And there's many different techniques to do this, but a simple one that's commonly applied is to start the day with a sense of gratitude. During this time, you just take a moment to yourself to be grateful for all of the things and people you have in your life. In fact, you could use this process to really have a sense of gratitude as you begin different activities. Say you're about to sit down to enjoy a movie with a loved one, a moment of reflection to consciously acknowledge that you get to do something you enjoy with someone you love can have hugely beneficial effects. 
You see, feeling gratitude helps you feel happier. It can be beneficial to your mental and physical health, and allows you to enjoy individual moments in life and truly appreciate the little experiences it has to offer. This all in all allows us to have a more positive attitude. Positivity is a bit of a double edged sword, as it can be both beneficial but equally problematic if you allow it to blind you from the truth. The issues many face today is that they think they need to be positive all the time, even if something isn't positive or beneficial to them. The problem here is if we can't maintain a level of objectivity, then we won't make positive change for the better. That said, there's a lot of cynicism in the world today, and while there's understandable reason for it, that cynicism can be toxic for our perception of life and the opportunities we find ourselves faced with. This is one of the reasons why Christmas can be beneficial for many. We approach it with positivity regardless of the challenges presented to us. Sure enough, you might have to deal with the family member you can't stand, but you can go into the situation with the intention to make the best of it. And sure enough, presents don't come cheap, but you can spend regardless because you want to see the joys others get when they open them. And sure enough, it can be stressful and a busy time of year but you see all of the best things that come from it and relish the experience regardless. The same approach needs to be applied in life. Sure enough, you're going to have difficult moments presented to you, but in such circumstances, you can either choose to let the dark times consume you, or you can relish the opportunities that come from it to help you on your personal progression and the potential for change. Our perspective on life has a huge influence on us, not least because it can change how we approach it. And a big part of this comes from those we surround ourselves with, not least our friends and family. One of the most important aspects of Christmas is the time we spend with friends and family, valuing those close to us. It's also something that many of us take for granted at other times of the year, as we see them in everyday life and don't necessarily see them all gathered around us in such a jovial setting. The thing is, the influence of those we surround ourselves with cannot be underestimated. For example, studies such as one conducted in the US Air Force cadets in 2010 found that groups were influenced by the weakest individuals in the group and that they can greatly influence the performance of the whole group. If the weakest member of the group has a toxic attitude and behaviour, that individual will likely reduce the performance of others in that group. During Christmas, we tend to focus on those we feel truly grateful for in our lives and the people who most influence us. Sure enough, we may have had the odd interaction with someone negative, but for the most part, we tend to focus on those who lift us up to be greater. And even for those who might be deemed a weakest member of the group, they'll often be on their best behaviour to try and do enough to at least not bring down those around them during this time of year. Now, let's move past Christmas through to the rest of the year. Well, we're often struggling to maintain the best of ourselves, and often we get dragged down by the negativity of those around us. Here's the thing though, just as you try your best for others during Christmas and seek to surround yourself with those you truly care for, having that same attitude during the rest of the year can have a huge influence in your life. As seen in the study with the cadets, those around you can help lift you up to be better, or drag you down with them. It's up to you to choose who you surround yourself with. However, more important than those around you is taking time for self-reflection. Christmas is something of a bookmark point for many, as it comes at the end of the year where we can reflect on all that's happened and the state of our lives. This usually leads to people deciding that in the coming year they want to make certain changes in their lives to improve the quality of their life, often in the form of a new year's resolution. However, self-reflection is something we need to do throughout the year, I'd argue even on a daily basis. Each day needs to be lived with us pursuing that which is most meaningful to us, and to keep track of that, it's important to take time to assess how we've done each day. So possibly the most important lesson of all is that just as people inevitably take a moment for self-reflection during the holiday season, it's vital to make this a habit, not least to help you live life on your terms.
Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got value from it. I'd like to just take a moment to wish everyone watching a very happy Christmas. Thanks for watching.